scouts? Um, so far, it's been, it's been a lot of good feedback um, as far as testing numbers and, you know, what I've done. Um, and, you know, it's not over right now. So, I mean, I haven't really talked to too many scouts at the moment. What did they tell you that they caught you at? Um, I heard a range from 416 to 425. Was that a surprise to you that fast? Um, no, not really. Um, that's kind of where I wanted to be at. So, it's a good day. How does that stack up to what you've run historically? Um, around, around the same. Um, down when I was training, I went uh, 419, so it was right around the same. Where'd you train? Um, down in Florida, Weston, uh, fit speed. Okay. Just well, talk about the pressure of coming here and, and needing to perform speed wise, because obviously that's kind of what you're known for. Um, it wasn't too much pressure for me. Um, all my life, I've been doing the same thing, trying to go run, run fast. Uh, you know, whether it's a camp or coming into a team or whatever. It may be that my spotlight was always running fast, so I was never really pressured into doing it. These guys knew you were going to be fast. Do you think you surprised even some of them? Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, when you hear if people are fast and who's fast and who's this, um, you don't really think about it until you see them in person. So uh, them having eyeballs on me was, was a good surprise for them. You just ran the one time and then skipped the second? Yeah, I ran the one time. I was comfortable enough um, with, with what I ran, so I didn't run again. Where do you think you'll be picked? Do you think you'll be picked, and where do you think you might be picked? Um, not sure. Uh, I just want to be picked. You know, that's the main goal out here for everybody. It doesn't matter where we go. It doesn't matter, you know, how late, how early. We just want to be picked. How much do you think you helped yourself today? Uh, I think I helped myself tremendously um, with the numbers. Uh, I felt great doing routes, catching balls, things like that. So I feel like I definitely helped myself. How would you think Dylan looked today? Uh, Dylan has been great. Uh, he's always been a good quarterback for us. Um, I felt that he threw great. You know, he hit all our routes that we needed to hit, no drop balls, so you can't complain at the end of the day. There were no incompletions in the passing stuff. No. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You disappointed you didn't get an invite to the NFL combine? Um, a little bit. Um, I felt that I would perform the way that I did today if I was at the combine. So uh, it definitely was a little bit of disappointment, but it definitely fueled me for the day. What's this day been like for you, though, getting ready for this day? And really, I mean, this is a job interview, a two-hour job interview. Man, actually, three hours, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's a, a two-hour job interview that you train for for the past two months. So, I mean, it's, it's been a lot of anxious, uh, you know, patience and, and waiting for it. We've been one of the last ones to go. So, um, it's, I'm glad it's over. We're relieved, and it was a great day. You feel good, though, about what you were able to do today and obviously going forward, just the confidence will get you in your next, you know, the next time you go out training. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely confident. And what I've done, I'm happy about it and ready to move on to the next step. Does this kind of any of you add to your motivation moving forward, kind of put an extra bounce in your step as far as your preparation and workouts because you had a great day today? Um, um, yeah, definitely. Um, anything that helps confidence always, you know, gets you to play better. Um, you know, if you go in, into a game, into a workout with confidence, you're going to do good. Bruce, give you any advice about as far as even today or moving forward, preparation, the draft day, any, any kind of advices? No. Just to have fun. Uh, never put too much pressure on yourself. You know, when you put pressure on yourself, then that's when you think too much. And you can't play the game of football while you're, while you're thinking. Has this been a fun process for you, going from student athlete to now making football your, your full-time occupation? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, including myself and everybody here, it's been our dream to, to try to make a team since middle school, since we were eight, eight years old, first playing Pop Warner. So it's definitely, you know, a dream come true, whether it happens or not.